Welcome back boys and girls. We got another 40k battle report for you tonight. We are going to debut the new Blood Angels Codex. Uh, Blood Angels versus Tyranids. 2,000 points. Purge the Alien. Uh, long edges across from each other. Pitched battle. So uh, this is our table setup. Uh, we will be back after we uh, short break here and get our armies to you. First up, we have the Blood Angels half for you. Griff's going to walk us down his army to begin with. So for my HQ, I took a chaplain with a jump pack, and he rolled for his Warlord trait, Artisan of War, so his Crozius is going to be Master Crafted. He's running with 10 jump pack death company that have a Thunder Hammer and a Bolter on one guy. Then I have two identical Razorback squads. They're five men with a plasma gun. They're in a Razorback that is Laz Cannon Twin Link Plasma Gun. Then I have a 10-man tactical squad that has a heavy flamer, a flamer, a combi flamer, a veteran sergeant, and a power fist in a rhino. Then I have two identical typhoon speeders, a furioso dreadnought in a drop pod. The drop pod has a death wind launcher. He has a frag cannon and a heavy flamer and a magna grapple. Then I have a 10-man assault squad with two melta guns, a veteran sergeant, and a power fist and two identical Bell Predators with heavy bolters, dozer blades, a twin-linked assault cannon turrets, and an extra storm bolter on each one, and a 200-point storm raven rounds out the list. Alrighty, and uh, one thing he didn't mention that we talked about before, these assault marines do have jump packs. So uh, he's using them today in the old list. He never ran them, and now he thinks they're worth giving a shot. So we're going to give them a try tonight uh, as slot proxies. Be right back with the tearing at half. Next up is High Fleet Nug's contribution to the Carnage. Um, it looks a little small because I did not bother setting my Hormigants up. I have four squads of 15 Hormigants. Uh, each squad of them has Adrenal Glands. Uh, for my Warlord, I have a Hive Tyrant, Wings, Twin Link Devourers, um, two sets, and Electroshock Grubs. His Warlord trait is he and three other units have Infiltrate. Um, let's see. I have two Venom Thropes, three Hive Guard, uh, four zoanthropes and they are in a tyrannocyte um two individual carnifexes with dual scything talons spine banks and adrenal glands uh one crone with cluster spines five raveners with scything talons and rending claws and one moloch with adrenal glands so uh that's the tyranid half uh we have yet to roll for table edges or any of that we will be back after deployment and walk you down psychic powers and all that good stuff and let you see the seize the initiative roll. Be back after that. Setup is complete. No night fight on turn one. Uh, the Blood Angels won roll for deployment uh, and edge. So they chose this edge, deployed Death Company, their Razorbacks and Bell Predators, then the Tactical Squad and the Assault Marines on the end. They have the Frag Assault Cannon guy in reserve and the Storm Raven. Uh, the Tyranids. I made a minor list change because we realized I had one Synapse creature in my list the way I had it that was on the table. So I made a list change, dropped the Tyranocyte, added three more Gaunts and another Zoanthrope and went ahead and deployed them on the table. Uh, my infiltrators for the mission were Hiveguard, uh, Zoanthropes, and then the brown Gaunt squad stretched out here across the front trying to bubble wrap some. Uh, deployed the block there in the middle. Zoanthropes know Dominion, Warp Blast, Spirit Leech, and uh, the Horror. And then the Hive Tyrant knows Dominion, Onslaught, and Paroxysm. Um, so that's set up. Uh, I have a Moloch in Deep Strike Reserve. That's my only reserves. Um, the Spa Blood Angels are going first, unless the Tyranids can seize the initiative. And they do not. So Blood Angels will have turn one. We will be back once they have finished their first turn. Blood Angels turn one draws to a close. Death Company pull the flank here moving around. Uh, armored Wall advances and heaves two. Uh, Rhino takes some cover while the Assault Marines on the flank. Kind of padiddle, hold around in their place, wait to see what's going to happen next. Uh, the Land Speeders moved in on the flanks, fired their weapons into the Crone. Um, Fell two of his uh, cover saves, so he's down to three wounds. Uh, let's see. Uh, some Gaunts here, some Gaunts here, nine total, I believe. Uh, the Furioso killed four with his Frag Cannon, had no range left for his Heavy Flamer. Um, and then some more died here from the Bell Predator, some more died here from the Bell Predator. So, uh, picking them off a little bit, steadily. Uh, about to begin Tyranid turn one. 
Tyranid turn one has rolled to an end. Uh, Hormigant's moved up to both flanks. Uh, Carnifex moved to that end on the forest. Attempted a charge on the Furioso needing a nine. Took one wound from the frag cannon and felt his charge even with his fleet reroll. He just wasn't feeling it. Nine's a long way to go. Raveners consolidated out. They were going to assault this Bell Predator, but the psychic phase went swimmingly for me. The Zoanthropes uh, cast Spirit Leech here, killed four men, including the sergeant. Uh, used those four dice and one more to get Warp Blast off. Busted the Bell Predator with an explosion. And then the shooting phase went equally as well. Uh, him, the Hive Tyrant, wrecked that with glancing hits. Or no, he wrecked that one. The Hive Guard uh, decided they wanted to go back into 5th edition mode. Scored four hits, four pin, or three pins, and wrecked that one and left the guys stunned as they came out. So three victory points and first blood for the Tyranids. Uh, Space Marine Air Support is coming on next. Uh, we will be back after turn two for the Blood Angels. Blood Angels come out swinging in turn two. Uh, the Storm Raven flew on on the flank. Uh, it and the Speeder fired and killed this Carnifex. Um, Venerable Dr or Fury also got locked up with some Gaunts. Uh, killed several with his Flamer and then charged in and killed another one. Um, these Gaunts pretty much got wiped out in Assault. Uh, got two assault marines and they were pretty much wiped out. These guys took some casualties from the flamers and the bolters there. Uh, Death Company charged in, wiped the raveners out at the cost of two marines. I uh, think that's about it. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, Tyranid turn two coming up. Tyranid turn two over and a brutal one at that. Um, Carnifex made a charge here. Knocked two whole points out of the dread but held him in combat. So he's locked up with those that little squad of Gaunts and the Carney. These Gaunts moved up with intentions of charging the Death Company. However, the Tyrant shot the Death Company, caused nine wounds, and five guys died. Yes, we know they have Phil No Pain and 3 Plus Armor. They did not make anything. Just terrible luck there. Moloch showed up, ate four of these Marines and one of the Death Company Marines, uh, and then ran here in the uh, shooting phase. These Marines are all untouched. Hive Guard scooted over and destroyed this land speeder. And the Gaunts tied these guys up. Uh, killed two more, but left the two survivors there. They're still in combat with us. Um, Crone also fired his Flamer. Got a pin on this. Shook it. And then uh, killed one of the Death Company. Felled his armor. Felled his feel no pain. So rough turn dice-wise for the Blood Angels. I mean, I was, I was expecting to get clobbered there by those Death Company next turn because I was in no position to fight them. Um, they also ate a Paroxysm and are at weapon skill negative two. Um, these guys, I tried to Psychic Shriek them or Spirit Leech them with the Neuro Throat, but I missed. So ran out of dice there. Um, rough turn for the Blood Angels. Uh, they are going to be making their reactions now. Turn three coming up. Blood Angels turn three has rolled to an end. Carnifex took two more wounds, but then finished the job, put the Dreadnought down, and consolidated on. Um, Marine fired at the Venom Thropes along with a couple other things. Death Company charged. Last Death Company Marine was killed by the Venom Thropes, but then the Chaplain killed one, wounded another. Um, two of the Zoanthropes died in a charge here, but the Hormigants did manage to clear their charge here against the Assault Squad. Um, I did lose the Crone to the combined fire of the Snap Firing Bell, and the Flyer felt all my cover saves and died like a chump. So, uh, that's the end of Blood Angels Turn 3. Uh, we will be back when the Tyranids have responded. Tyranid Turn 3 rolls to an end, and the Blood Angels are going to call it there. Um, the tactical squad here got hit with paroxysm went to weapon skill 2 the maw killed a couple freaking narrow throat ch challenged his uh, power fist uh, hit wounded and he failed his armor save um, the other zone throat hit wounded and failed his armor save um, chaplain did clean up the venom throat for the fourth or fifth point for the marines uh, bell predator took some firepower from the hive tyrant and survived but the gaunts uh, charged into the ruin on the bottom floor here and wrecked it with their adrenal glands um, these Gaunts did the same to this Rhino. Carnifex charged the Drop Pod and destroyed it. And the Hive Guard shot the other Land Speeder and destroyed it. So uh, at that point it will be a 12 to 5 Tyranid victory. Um, arm, oh, 12 to 4. Uh, Army lists and after action reviews will be on the blog as always. Um, be sure to go over there. Give us a subscribe and uh, like us on Facebook. Enter the Maelstrom. Uh, we put up, post all of our uh, stuff there when it comes up to you. 
So, uh, that's the game. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed seeing the new Blood Angels. Hopefully next outing they'll make a few more armor saves. Uh, just bad bow to rolling. Um, we will have more thoughts in the blog, so be sure to follow the link below.